Who can tell me when the last hour will come? Who can tell me when the last hour is? Does anyone know? Allah knows. But I see that people are waiting until they see the sun rise from where it sits. Or they are waiting until the Dajjal comes out. Or until the Mahdi comes out. They are waiting for that. لا يا أخي. That's not how you should be waiting for the last hour. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, مَنْ مَاتَ فَقَدْ قَامَتْ قِيَامَتُهُ Whoever dies, then his last hour has come. So it is that which is your last hour. Not the Dajjal. Not when the sun rises from where it sets. لا. The last hour for every person, the Qiyamah, is when you die. And you don't know when you are going to die. So therefore you are always preparing for your grave. And that is your last hour. مَنْ مَاتَ فَقَدْ قَامَتْ قِيَامَتُهُ The Prophet sallallahu said, Whoever dies, his last hour has come. So that's what you must be preparing for. Not preparing to meet the Dajjal. Wasting your time in finding out what are the signs of the last hour. Spending nights and days and talking about them. <coughs> when you could die tomorrow. When that time comes, you can deal with it. Learn the basics. But you should be preparing for your grave as well. Thus we must take this matter seriously. We must prepare our luggage for our final destination. Allah Ta'ala says in Surah Al-Anbiya إِقْطَرَبَ لِلنَّاسِ حِسَابُهُمْ وَهُمْ فِي غَفْلَةٍ مُعْرِدُونَ Jaws near to mankind is their reckoning, is their destruction, yet they turn away in heedlessness. They hear these signs, we are hearing them tonight, but we turn away tonight and say, ah, Alhamdulillah, another lesson, just another lesson. But it's not just another lesson. If you take it as another lesson with our application, you're wasting your time. It's not just another lesson. It must move yourself, make you move, make your body change, live differently from tonight. Change your whole life. That's why it is another lesson. But let it be another lesson in the sense where it becomes another life transforms into the reality of life. They see it. The day of judgment as a far off event. But Allah says, we see it as quite near. And in Surah Muhammad, in Surah Muhammad he mentions, are they waiting for anything except the hour? To come to them suddenly, but its signs have already come. Yes, Allah talking to us, brothers and sisters. Allah saying to us, What are you waiting for? Are you waiting for the hour to confront you, to hit you, to smack you in the face? But its signs is already there. What are you waiting for? Meaning, why are you not applying Allah's law? Are you waiting for the major sign to come and hit you? Because there's nothing left but the major signs.